Hello friends, are you using Link, the language integrated query in your development or you are still using for while loop to iterate over collection or xpath or xquery to find elements in an XML file? Whatever may be the answer, Link you is the way to go and you should definitely watch this video to learn more about Link you and how you can use in your project. So coming up. Hello YouTubers, welcome to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. Today we are going to discuss about Link you or the language integrated query. Language integrated means that Link you is part of the programming language syntax. In particularly C Sharp and VB that ships with .NET are pre-built with Link you capabilities. Query part means what it does, which is to retrieve data from the data source and then work on that data. Now most of the application nowadays work with a data source, which can be a relational database or it can be an XML or it can be an object in memory, which is like your list, arrays or any kind of collection. So different languages have been developed to handle these different data source. Like for relational database, we have SQL. For XML, we have XQuery. Link you provides a consistent approach. Now for different data source, you don't have to understand or learn different query languages. You can use the same link you to access data from XML or from an relational database or from an in-memory objects or collections. They also provide a short and crisp code as compared to the traditional approaches while providing you intelligence and helping you with compile time warnings. Now link you query can be written in any of the .NET programming language like your C Sharp and VB where your .NET link you will be converted into underlining data source using the link you providers. For example, if you want to write a link you query to extract data from an XML data source, then you will use the link you provider called link you to XML. There are many different providers for various different needs. You have link you to objects, link you to SQL, link you to entities and link you to data sets. You have even third party link you providers as well. You can compare these link you providers as translators. So if you know English and you want to talk to a French person, you will need a French translator. Similarly, if you have a data source, which is an XML data source, then you need a provider called a link you to XML. Now let's quickly dive into code and see why we want to use link you and find out what are the advantages of using link you. If you see in this code, we want to store and print numbers which are greater than 30. We have an array over here of integer type which has 12 numbers stored in it. Now if we don't use link you, our approach would have been to first find number of elements or integer values which are greater than 30. For this, we will loop through this whole integer array and find out the count of number of elements which are greater than 30. Then we will initialize a new array with that count so that we specify the size of that array. Then we will again iterate through this numbers, numbers array and again check for the number which are greater than 30 and then assign that value to the new array over here. After which this new array, which is num greater than 30 contain all the numbers which are greater than 30. Then we will use a for each loop to iterate through this array of integers and print those. Now the same program, if we go ahead and write with link you, you can imagine and see this, how small this program will be. 
even it is more easier to understand this program than this one. There are two ways in which we can write a link queue query. One is with a query syntax and the other one is a method syntax. I will make you understand these in more details in my later slides. But over here if you can see when we write the query syntax we are writing from s in numbers where num numbers means this integer array where s is greater than 30. So s is a variable over here. So if you see it is something like for for i and t i in numbers. So it is something like this. So form s in numbers where s is greater than 30 and then select s. So it is a query kind of a SQL query like statement. If you are familiar with SQL then you will definitely understand this whole query over here. The other way of writing is a method syntax where you write numbers dot where where is an extension method. I will tell you more about these extension methods in my later slide. So if you read this numbers dot where bracket open s lambda symbol s greater than 30. So this is how small this program can be and then it is using the for each loop to display the whole array. Now let's see another example where we will go into Visual Studio to write that code and see how IntelliSense work and how we can see the type checking working simultaneously. Now in this example we are looking to find employees with age between 30 and 40. So we have an employee list collection over here where we have different employees with different uh, ages and IDs and names. Now how are we gonna do this? We're gonna switch back to Visual Studio. Over here, I have already copied the code. And if you see, we have the non-link queue approach where we have created a temporary list. And in then we are iterating through the whole employee list collection. And if we are, then we are doing an if condition to find employees with age greater than 30 and less than 40. And if we find one, we are adding that into the temporary list uh, collection that temporary list that we have created over here. Now in link queue approach where we will first try with the query approach query syntax. So we start with the from condition. So from we will create an alias variable result result and I can say in the collection. So we are searching the collection. So we'll say in employee list where where result dot see the intelligence result dot age greater than equals to 30 and result dot age is less than equals to 40 select result. So if you see it will give you a error over here saying that you have not assigned the value to something so we can easily say where a is equal to this but then we want something like list employee so we can just copy this and assign it like this. Now it will still give you an error that it is it is a generic I enumerable and you are trying to convert it into a specific list employee. So for doing that what you can do is you can do a type casting to the list employee collection. So say to list employee. Now this one is the query syntax. Now if you want a method syntax so how we do that is in method syntax if you see we will again use this list employee and output for example equals to the collection that we want to work on is your EMP list. So we will say okay EMP list then we will use the extension method dot 
where and then inside this we will write the same condi uh, we will write the lambda expression where result is the lambda variable on the left hand side and then the the operation that we are going to do is result result dot see the intelligence age is greater than equals to 30 and results dot h greater than equals to 40 now this one will again return you a inevitable generic collection but we don't want this we want to have a specific list employee so we'll say two we'll convert typecast to list employee now this one will convert it into a specific type of employee list now this is the output so this is how easy it is to work with link you both with the query syntax and the method syntax so let us go back into our slide so you would have definitely seen with these examples what are the advantages of link you over the earlier approaches and how easy your code would look and how readable your code will become after you start using link you now technically if you want to understand what is link you then we can say that link you is a collection of extension methods for classes basically that implements i enumerable and i queryable interface so if you say if you type in system dot link you dot enumerable on your visual studio then you will see that intelligence were these extension methods coming over so link you can be implemented on all these collections which implements i enumerable like your uh, collection types which are like list dictionary sorted list queue hash chat link list all these basically implements i enumerable interface Hence, link you can use the extension method over these classes. I will show you in a second what I mean over here. Then there is another thing called as queryable. So all the remote data sources like your database, web services, like link you to SQL, entity framework, these all implements I queryable interface. And if they implement I queryable interface, you can use the system dot link you extension methods over them let me show you what i mean by this by going into visual studio so if i type something like system <coughs> dot link you dot enumerable dot these are the extension methods that i was talking about because also if i show you queryable or they it will also have those extension methods over here now what i mean by this is that any collection like this list one over here if i go to the definition if it in implements i enumerable over here then link you can be applied or link you extension method can be applied on this particular class now let's quickly look into the two different syntaxes that we talked about of how to use link you which is a query syntax and a method syntax so if i go to my slide I can see that this is a query syntax so which is more resemblance to your uh, SQL uh, statements so in this there are three there are two major keywords the starting point starts with from and the end star end is the select part in the middle part we have a combination of standard query operation we can have where we can have order by we can have joins aggregates and group by so and this is how we write the query syntax when it comes to method syntax we write something like collection or on which we want to run this so this is a collection dot where is the extension method so we can have any number of extension method and then in the middle portion we can have the lambda expression where there are three parts to a lambda expression the first part which is the starting portion input parameter and the right side we have the operate operation and the middle part is the lambda expression now extension method i've already told is something that adding new methods to your existing type 
so which means that maybe this one doesn't have that method called where but then extension method has can be added to any of the method which is extending to i immutable or queryable interface so this one basically is a list type so which implements i immutable and queryable interface hence can be attached with these extension methods so that the link you uses these extension methods to uh, query on those uh, classes so this is what is link you all about so this completes our video on basics of link you we have seen what are the advantages of using link you and how we can use it in various different places we have seen some examples as well on using link you with collections in in subsequent videos we will also come up with how to use link you with sql and how to use them with xml do remember to like and subscribe our channel help me coder and provide your comments on this video so that we can improve our video in future thanks for watching and happy coding